getting ready to start the summer grind again. It's right back at it. Season will be here before you know it. We're ready to get back to it, man. We're getting ready to start this run. The work starts in the summer. It starts right now. You know, we're not taking any days off. We're not taking anything for granted. And we're just ready to get things going. Get ready to have the best season in UCF history. Let's go, night fans. Let's get it. from ESPN here at uh, UCF Knights practice this morning. It's early, but Coach Dawkins has a terrific group. This team's battled a lot of injuries, but from what I've seen today, a lot of depth, a lot of experience. They are long, and typically with these Knight teams, they're going to be great defensively. Understand why they're one of the favorites in the American Conference this year. If everything stays together, this looks like a team that not only will be in the NCAA tournament, but could go very, very far. Get it. Another morning to be level five. I hit a pool early in the morning. Early, early. Got taco over there, four feet. Half his body out the pool. <laughs> he just out here getting it early in the morning. Live from the CFB yeah. Arena, the campus of the University come of on, Central Florida, you see a nice basketball is on the air. Let the go. games begin. Picked up by B.J. Taylor, two on two. B.J. flies in, B.J.'s left, left no good, but there's Taco right there to put it in. Four nothing. We're just trying to take it a, day, a game at a time. So I think from this one game perspective, we'll learn from it. And a disappointing loss for UCF on a Sunday afternoon. It's called the basketball thing to happen. That's, that's, that's the fun about it. But we got we to be better and, and know that you know we're not invincible. I mean, there are things that we can identify when we watch tape and we get together and talk about it and get back on the practice floor that we can make improvements in. And that's what we're going to do. Coming out of the tournament, you know, we learn. We learn from, you know, what happened in that Memphis game, and just don't let it happen again. Cause, I mean, it was pretty much over. We didn't. After that, I mean, that was, that was it. It's like one game you lose and you're done. Man, I 
first outright Atlantic 10 regular season championship. They will play University of Central Florida hey! tonight. That was kind of like a real restart for us. It was exciting, you know, first time for you know, us really being in the NCAA tournament. I've not, the school hasn't made the NCAA in over a decade. Um, there was a lot of things, you know, you know, we were playing for something that was bigger than us. We've been treating every single game like it was going to be an NCAA tournament game. So when we get out here, it's not going to be, you know, nothing new for us because that's kind of how we try to approach every game throughout the season. Live from Columbia, South Carolina, as tonight for the first time since 2005, the UCF basketball team is back in the NCAA tournament. So much adversity throughout their career, different coaching staffs, and they've come to this moment your senior year. These guys deserve it. Ever since Coach Dawkins came here, we always talked about that moment, how special it would be, because we never been. You know, it was just, it was just amazing, you know, to to make history. Just for me and my teammates, you know, all the hard work we put in, and all the grinding and sweating, and um, knowing that, you know, we we were successful. UCF Knights take on the number one ranked team in the country, the top overall seed in the NCAA Tournament as the Knights take on the Duke Blue Devils in the second round of the NCAA Tournament. Taco Paul and Zion Williamson stand at center court. The crowd rises. Hook shot rims out. No good. Gets the rebound and dumps it in. And it's a nothing start for UCF. How big was that? That's how you want to start this game. Take it right to him. So Taco got the miss, put it back in the jam. 2-0 Knights, R.J. Barrett. Throws it ahead to Aubrey Dawkins, can actually get numbers here. Here's a pass up to Chad Brown for the jam! Oh, man! Aubrey in his corner. Jones on him, backs him down, fadeaway 15-footer. How about Aubrey Dawkins? You want to talk about a half? Holy smokes! And Taco got another block on Zion Williamson. Dan Griffin, Aubrey Dawkins, jam! Oh, what a call by Johnny Dawkins over the timeout. B.J. Taylor, wing right side. B.J. three ball for the lead. Yes! Knights by two with 3.50 to go. Tacos fouled out. What is UCF going to run with seven with 8.1 seconds to go? Into BJ. Six seconds. BJ gets around a man. BJ driving. BJ goes up. His shot off the glass. He's no good. Tip in is in and out. And Duke will survive. Proud of you guys, man. I'm really proud. And again, man, I told you guys before I love you guys. It's, it's been amazing coaching this group. And like I said, for us, we got a lot of good memories, man. A lot of good memories. We accomplished a lot of amazing things this year. These guys left an amazing legacy, guys. We left an amazing legacy that will never be forgotten. And so again, you know, it's hard, but let's bring it in. Let's go, bring it in. Hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three, family. When we came here, you know, it's what we wanted to do, you know, leave our legacy. And, you know, even though we didn't win the game, you know, we did leave a legacy, you know, out there on that court tonight and throughout our whole career. You know, throughout the four years, you know, the ups and downs, man, I can definitely say that I've learned so much, you know, on and off the court as a person and as a player. At this point, you know, if you don't know who UCF is anymore, and, you know, live in America, you, know, you need to you know, get out from under a rock because big things happen here. A lot of people want to go to a school with a name, a school that has a lot of tradition, and that's fine, but there's even a bigger reward than going somewhere where that tradition still needs to be built and knowing that you have been part of the tradition that has made that happen. 
and I really feel like UCF has allowed me to do that and come here, like I said, being able to be part of that legacy and just being part of that team that really put UCF name out there that, that has meant a lot to me. I'm very, very, really, really glad that I chose this year. So hopefully in the future, you know, these kids growing up, UCF continues to grow that they'll say, you know what, I'm not going to go to this school that went to the Final Four last year. I'm going to go to UCF and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do better and I'm going to do bigger things than what, you know, Taco, BJ, and, and all of them did when they were there. I'm going to get UCF to the Sweet 16. And I'm going to get UCF to the Final Four because that's what it's going to take, you know, for the program to keep growing. And I, I, I hope that happens because that'll, that'll make me even more proud than, you know, what we did this year.